What's up guys? We got another JM Cup video for you. If you guys don't know, once a month in my Discord, we run a tournament called the JM Cup where we pick a different game every single month and that way everyone can kind of learn it together and have people to practice against as they're trying to figure out the game. So we ran Killer Instinct from 2013. I think this is a very underrated, very awesome game. It's got a lot of unique mechanics, like obviously the combo breaker and counter breaker system. It's got really unique characters as well. It's got some characters that just straight up feel like boss fights to fight against, but somehow it's like pretty balanced as well. Uh, I really, really love this game and I was happy to get an excuse to play it some more. So I'm going to be showing you what I thought were some of the best matches from the tournament, including grand finals here, so you can see how that all turned out. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you want to take part in a future tournament, uh, the way to do that is to become a subscriber on Twitch or a supporter on Patreon. The link for both of those is down in the description. That's how you get into the Discord, and the Discord is where we run the tournaments. So make sure you do that. Also, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe on the video. If you enjoy these JM Cup tournament videos, I know people tend to like these. And let me know in the comments what game would you like it to see us run in the future. If you have any suggestions, just make sure it has good online. That's like the number one important thing since obviously these are online tournaments. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see. But with that out of the way, let's jump right into the matches. Hope you enjoy, guys. First step towards the O2 chat. Chad, how dare you? You're supposed to believe in me. All right, Shin Hisako. I really don't know this matchup, so. Just because I've gone 0-2 at like every JM Cup lately. Ooh. Ooh. Yikes. Whew! Okay. Okay. Wow! Wake up, DP. Understandable. Wow, I can't believe he was able to block there. Bro, I can't block these cross-ups. I'm too slow. Oh no, the ghoulies! I didn't even see him there. I didn't know that was gonna cross up! Oh my god. The T-Bag! The T-Bag! I'm ending the stream, man. I'm ending the stream. You can't beat me the T-Bag game one! All right, I have to win now. I have to win now. I'm, guys, I'm about to, I'm about to make this a 1-3. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Banned from all future JM Cups, true. Bro, I can't block. What do you think, guys? What?
guys. Easy money. Easy money. But you should have tried. Don't come at the king! Don't come at the king! These these people out here, man. <laughs> DQ me from my own cup for being more toxic than the toxic player. Guys, I didn't start the toxicity. But you can be damn sure I'm gonna finish it, okay? He's gonna learn today. <laughs> He doesn't understand that I have an option select to beat the DP. Nice. 2-0, baby. 2-0. Let's check in on the betting markets, shall we? 75% on Garfield cart. 25% on Mr. Streamer. It's almost like you guys underestimate me. I don't know how. If you're watching this exhibition of skill. Somehow they don't think I'm going to win. Oh, that was actually good. That was same side. Oh, I always forget that cross is up. Uh-oh. You guys think he's learning? Uh-oh. Woo. Oh, the ghoulies kept it safe. That makes sense. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Okay. Double lockout, don't mind if I do. Bro, the cross up, I'm never ready. Okay, that was good, that was good. Okay, 2-2? Two, two? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, it's 2-2? Two, two? Well, I did not want that. Kind of nice, though.
Nice break. All right, we're learning, boys. Okay, we're not learning. Good cross up. that what was that Kim Woo okay 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 don't panic chat all right Oh, I baited it. I blocked it. Boys. Good break. Easy money. Get this guy out of my sight. Go to loser's bracket. Get lost, kiddo. But you GG's card for the card. GG's. <laughs> the 25. Listen, I'm not even. Obviously, I'm not mad at Garfield card. It's all in good fun. That was a good match. I'm mad at the chat because you guys bet against me. This is my game. This is my game, chat. How could you bet against me? Will the toxic streamer teabag again? Depends on what my opponent does. If I am given respect, then I will show respect. You know what I'm saying, chat? <laughs> oh my god, albino saber wolf. Yo, this guy looks mangy. Is his hair falling out? All right, we're on the best stage here. This stage does not fit these characters at all, though. <laughs> All right, bu buttons being pressed. Moon in comboing off the bats. Oh, slight miss there on the jump in. Good block on the overhead and the throw punish. Yo, getting the lockout. How are you going to make him pay for this with the EX finisher? 55%. Man, some of some of these shadow finishers just do outrageous damage. Nice break there from Sarsipius. But Moon and closes it out with a bat. Back to rise! Yeah, this song is so good. Alright, Moon and building up quite a bit of gray here, but this combo is gonna be nice. Let's see. Okay, just goes for the damage ender. Nice bait. Oh no, not quite a bait. But okay, that's gonna regen almost all of that gray life. Jeez, that's crazy. Counter breaker, let's go. This should finish the round and it does. Nicely done. Moonin's combo breaker or counter breakers have been very on point today. Which is hype. Alright, she's shooting the Terminator juice at him. <laughs> Ter Terminator juice. What else? What else could it be? It's like, mer is it liquid mercury? <laughs> it's gray urine. Ew. Ew. All right, the bats are out. Extreme combo. Dude, Moonin is really playing on another level right now. It seems like the the warm-up is complete. Nice breaker, though.
What is happening in the chat right now? Imagine if urine was yellow sometimes instead of red. Guys. I'm trying to focus on the match, not get disgusted. <laughs> Disgusting. All right. Moonen with a commanding lead right now. Anti-airing with the bats. Doesn't quite get the conversion. Uh, Moonen going for some kind of tricky meaty setup there. Instead, just trade sides with the throw. I think that makes sense. Gets the meaty this time. And the counter breaker. He's got two shadow meters. So I imagine he's going to be able to kill here. N easy kill. Good lord. Ketchup is only good on meatloaf? Nah, ketchup's good on fries, man. Fries are best with nothing? Y'all out here eating dry fries? I think fries are best with ketchup or mayo. Or if you're too good to eat mayo on fries, aioli. <laughs> Those are the, those are the best those are the best fry toppings in my opinion. But anyway, but speaking of topping, Moonen is getting topped off by the, this shadow attack from Saberwolf. Huge amount of gray life still, but I mean Moonen's offense has been so dominant that will it really matter? Nice, and he's gonna give him the Zuck and gain all that life back. Gets the overhead this time in an instant lockout. All right, this is match point for Moonen. Match point. Okay, okay. Sarsipius takes the round though. The the steampunk saber wolf. Oh my god, a fakey cross up. A huge damage ender. And he's just activating everything here. Good lord. But. Nice break. Good lord. How does he break so fast? Bruh. Yo, the lockout? This is actually pretty close. Good defense from Sarsipias. And he takes the turn back. A little short combo. He could have maybe got more there. Another short combo. I can't tell if he's dropping. Okay, but like, what if though? Spaghetti falling out of the pockets. Moonen is on a pixel of HP right now. One pixel. Oh, and he gets anti-aired. Sarsipius is still in it. Two to one. <laughs> Moonen with the self-inflicted injury there. What? Chat, quit telling me to pause, okay? <laughs> that, <laughs> that super where she drains life, that is forever known as the Zuck, okay? <laughs> There's no second meaning. <laughs> Alright. Oh, overhead. Nice little reset. Another short combo, though. I don't know why Sarsipius is uh, ending these combos so short. Oh, gets opened up by the overhead. But the funny thing is, like, the life is not that... The, the life deficit is pretty close because Moonen has done so much damage to himself. <laughs> And look, here we go. It's only going to be one or two more hits, and Sarsipius is going to take the round. But, oh, nope, guys. What did he just do? What did he just do? I don't even have to say it. Ooh. Nice pressure with the neutral jumps to bait some throw techs. Fries and mayo, am I from the Shadow Realm? Listen, go to any country other than America, and fries on mayo is normal, okay? Okay? It's only Americans that are weird about this. All right, throwing out the bats. Moonen trying to damage himself some more. Not satisfied with the low amount of gray life present. Oh, the Zuck. Walks back on the throw, no punish though. All right, just straight up activating and the shadow to get some chip in. Oh, gets the break. Moonen very, very on point with the shadow breaks. Ooh, bats. Yo, wait a minute. He got the lockout. I think that's almost going to kill. Saved it. Saved. Going for chip now. Moonen on a pixel as well. But it's not going to matter. The bats are there. Moonen takes it. Three to one.
But anyway, here we are in Grand Finals. Audios has really been dominant all tournament here. But go Boxel, man. The thing is, I feel like the zoning stance is really going to be a thorn in Audio's side here because Audio's mix-ups have been really hard for everyone to deal with, but if you can keep Sadira away, then you don't have to worry about it. But now we're in the melee stance. And you can see, I feel like Goboxel has changed up the neutral game plan a little bit. Kind of playing a little more defensively. Not getting overly aggressive. Just trying to stay out of range of... Sadira's crazy jump. Oh no, slightly mistimed meaty there. A good breaker. Nice uppercut, no conversion. Nice and an empty jump throw. That's been a powerful option for Go Boxel all day. Another mistimed meaty is going to get hit by the wake up, but a drop combo. Go Boxel taking round one here. All right. Wow, nice conversion, but it was a good breaker to get out of it. Oh no, the throw whiff. Yep, that is one of the threats that Sadira poses with her double jump. But nice, a big DP. Yo, the conversion! I love how little damage that does, but still, it was sick. And Sadira not blocking. All right, blocks the DP, but there's a meteor after that. He is an instinct. Look at these combos! Even the combo's not getting finished. This is sick. Go Boxel takes game one. In convincing fashion. All right, empty jump throw working out. Oh, I'm slightly missed time there. Nice DP out of the mix. Who cares about a double jump? Just DP it. Nice, back throw. All right, Sadira putting in work now. Got, got Idol stuck in the corner and locked out. Choosing not to use any meter on that ender there. Just gonna try to get another hit naturally, but here's the wake up instinct. Huge, huge DP, or not a, not a DP, sorry. the. Whatever that move where he smacks you over the head is. All right, but Shadow, that Shadow Spinner has been really working wonders in this matchup. All right, with, with the DP. All right, gets the breaker. All right, plus frames. Oh! Audio's not respecting the plus frames, even at this point in the tournament. Nice, though. Gets the combo off the projectile. Slight drop there. Don't know what that's about. But now we're in zoner stance, getting hit by the shadow spinner once again. This is the break. I smell an activation. Yes, indeed. And there's the DP meteors in ass. And he's locked out. How are you going to finish this? Oh, my God. What the heck? That was cursed! And now he's got another combo into the shadow. Gets broken, though. All right, and now we've got the instinct from Sadira. Wow, air-to-air -air trade. Air-to-air -air wins clean. Gets the conversion. Go Boxel is popping off! And he didn't cash out yet, so I think one more hit could spell curtains. But this might not matter, because now Go Boxel is low on a pixel. What's the move? Wakes up with... Okay, gets broken. Hold up. Oh, no. Wake up, Shadow. He dodges it. Air to air. Doesn't get the conversion, though. Oh, no. The drop. I think that was a drop, right? He he could have he, he could have comboed, maybe. I don't know that much about this game, but man. Okay, 1-1. One, one. All right. Plus frames. Yes, sir. Nice. And the meteors. Okay, switch is back, though. I'm thinking Go Boxel probably didn't want that switch, but now it worked out. And the counter breaker. Let's go. 
Nice break though. Go Boxel going a little long on that combo. Ooh, big whiff. No punish though. Oh, a little late on the shadow counter. Very unfortunate. This has been a dominating round for Go Boxel so far, and now he's in the stance that I think he would much rather be in in this situation. Yeah, I, I like the decision by Audios just to take the chip. Don't go too crazy trying to get in because now you have your opportunity. Exploiting that lockout to the best of his ability. Nice shadow counter though from Go Boxel, but immediately broken. Okay, Audios. Nice. Oh, slightly misses the conversion. Wow, throw out of the wake up shadow. Didn't even attempt the shadow counter that time. Ooh. Pretty ridiculous mix there with the spider web out. Audio's trying his best to bring this back. Yeah, activation, but there was a spider web on top of you. Oh no, he tried to jump out to escape. Got clipped, but no conversion from it. Oh, not quite able to get the punish. All right, Goboxa locked out here. This is a very close match now. Now empty jump low, sick mix up from Audios. Shadow counter, there it is. Gobox is going to have to look for a break here, and he misses it. Instinct definitely going to come out here. Yep. Oh, instant DP. Nice. Let's see what kind of damage we can get off this. Nice breaker, though, from Audios. Oh, crossed up. Unfortunate. So it's now 2-1 Audios. Oh, and we got the best stage. Let's go. And he's starting out in the zoner stance. Good look. Okay, switching back here. All right, that's some decent damage there on the lockout, but nice uppercut into conversion. Oh, and another lockout. It seems like Goboxel is not hitting the breakers that he needs here. And there's the double cross up. Nice break. All right, jumping back to avoid. All right, here comes Instinct. Nice! Air to air, no conversion though. <gasps> nice! Chasing down the backdash. Wait a minute. This is... Oh, that lockout could have been huge, but he gets a normal throw here in the corner and just meaties. Oh my gosh, cashing out for a ton of damage. 40% even. Okay, go Boxel. Trying to make this 2-2, but now Audios is back in and with a fully stocked Instinct. All right, there's gonna be a shadow combo starter and gets the lockout to close out that round. Match point here for Audios. This is so close. Okay, there's the big cross up. Gets the lockout. A short little combo there. Activates instinct. The web is there, you gotta watch out for it. Good block by Go Boxel, but then she landed on front. It definitely looked like she was gonna go behind there. But now, Go Boxel getting a hit and he got the big lockout. Cash this out. No, he went for counter breaker. I think she was still locked out. All right, but there's an anti-air conversion. Oh, another lockout. Yes, please cash this out. Huge damage, and now she's in ultra range. Okay, here's the wake up EX. We've seen it so many times. Let's go Boxel gonna try to break. He does successfully this time. All right, we're back in zoner stance. This is exactly what Go Boxel needs. There's a raw shadow. Meteors, it's two to two. Go Boxel is one match away from resetting it. Whereas Audios is one match away from taking the whole thing. Are we going to see another set, boys? Did I do a bet for this? Or am I stupid? Oh my god, I didn't do a bet. I'm so dumb. I'm sorry, chat. If they reset, I'll do a bet, okay? Alright, go Boxel getting this huge damage in the corner. There's the Meteor, too, to keep it safe and converting off the Meteor. Oh, but an unfortunate drop gets punished. Nice cash out, huge damage. Good block on the cross up and taking his turn back. I like that, using the plus frames. 
little bit of damage there, and then the Meteor is really, really proving to be a problem for Sadira. We've definitely seen the difference in the stances. The, the zoning stance has just really shut Audials down. But now doing pretty good. Wow, going for the counter breaker. Bold. Nice anti-air. Another conversion. This time, Audials does do the combo breaker. Good defensive mix-up there from Audials. But go Boxel. One round away from resetting the bracket. Let's see it. Oh, <laughs> that shadow spinner, man. And the lockout. That's definitely going to be the round. Now this is the true double Luigi. Last game, last round of the first set. All right, here's the activation. Oh, no. Gets a clean hit, but gets broken early. Good stuff by Audios with the breaker. And now we're seeing the EX spinner. All right, just a, a raw-ass shadow move. Not able to convert off. It goes for a cross-up. Doesn't quite hit. Utilizing the plus frames. Gets the normal throw. Ooh, whiff DP for some reason, but there's another DP. Why not? Do it again! Lands the normal throw close to the corner now. Go for another throw, but I think it was slightly missed time. Just jumping out of the corner, going for cross-ups, plus frames. Empty jump throw gets jumped out of, and now you're locked out. Wait, this is huge. He's got two meters. Okay, not able to get anything off that. There's the DP. Idol close to instinct, but not quite there, but now he's in zoner stance. Let's go! Oh, that actually worked! No way! Audios takes it! Oh my god, down to the wire! We have a new JM Cup champion for Killer Instinct. I don't know how Sadira avoided that Shadow Lightning, dude. That was crazy. Go Boxel, our previous JM Cup champ has been dethroned. Congratulations to Audios. Man, dude, this is actually crazy. What a tournament, man. This has been a lot of fun. We do have, we do have an announcement, which is that the next, the next JM Cup uh, is going to be on the 29th of October, right, right before Halloween, and it's going to be Melty Blood Type Illumina. So it's going to be fun. Brand new game. We're all going to be learning it together. Guys, thank you again for Moonin, uh, to Moonin for holding the tournament down. As always, doing all the organizational stuff. It's much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday.